Sugar. So, see you next time. <laughs> Woo! Hope you enjoyed this podcast. Welcome to the Louis Jordan experience. I'm Louis. I haven't changed my cameras yet. That's not your name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Jordan. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm distracted again. So go on. You're distracted. I'm, yeah, distracted. Right, so. I'm strapped to the chair. <laughs> my That's arms are on the back. Um, shut up. Sorry. Right. <clears throat> this week we thought we'd talk about villains. I think we mentioned it last time, didn't we? Probably. So, we thought we'd just, just do it. So, do you want to start? Because. I don't know. I, this isn't in no order at all, and it's sort of kind of my head. Pick that. I don't know. I don't know what sort of rating we're going okay, by. Actually, before before okay, before we go into specific people, we should say what a good film villain. Is. I don't know. I don't know if there is one. I think I there, if there is, is a, a way to model, do it, isn't there? I think it's crazy. I think it's sort of um, psycho crazy shit. Um, sorry, crazy shit. Yeah, okay. like sort of, like um, like the warden in the Green Mile. I'm just gonna remember the name of. He's a bit of a bastard. Yeah. And this is that sort of like almost normal but crazy, right? right sort of Hannibal Lecter. Mm-hmm. You know, he's like uh, he's a nice bloke. You probably could sort of speak to him. <laughs> yeah, sure. He but was. then he's fucking he's a psychopath. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. He could t- cut your fucking testicles off. I mean, there's lots of different ways so. you can do a villain. Um, I feel like some of the best ones are ones that um, that aren't just just evil. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah. Cunning. Yeah. I, like I, I there's, always, something, yeah. there's something wrong with them as well. Like there's, they are, but they, it's something that you can, you can look at them and say, oh shit, they're, they're just normal people or something. Yeah. Same time. Yeah. I, yeah. I, you know, someone you can actually, oh yeah, I've got someone who like, like, like that. I know someone who's like that. Or, or even or like, or related oh, to could, someone could, who's like that. I feel like that, you know. Yeah. But, and then he does something absolutely yeah. outrageous. I think that's that. That's the model, actually. Thinking. Yeah. yeah. That's my body. Yeah. It's crap. All the time. It's, it's the ones that challenge. The, the line between good and evil, I suppose, really, isn't it? What? Uh, uh, so, so. <laughs> but, like, some, some, of the, yeah, interest, but some, some of the classic ones, yeah, are also great as well. Like, yeah. Just, you just, they just... Yeah, because they're more human, like <laughs> Dracula and Frankenstein. Right. If you call them okay. villains. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, always got, I wouldn't say Frankenstein is a villain. I think it's misunderstood. It was created for the wrong reason. So like Invisible Man as well. I think, he, yeah. you know, he was accidentally created and then become a villain because of it. Right. Then didn't really want want to be a villain. Yeah, I suppose they're more monsters. They're not necessarily villains. They're just monsters. Aren't yeah, they? even yeah, true. Um, no, Pinhead. That's my first one. Pinhead. <laughs> okay, yeah. Go for it. Wait, yeah, what's he Pinhead from? From um, Hellraiser. Oh yeah, yeah. I just think it's a complete bastard. I just think I've it's never utterly. Seen it. I've never seen it. It's, in one moment, I think sums him up is when he goes on a rampage. Like he obviously, you know. You called, we came. It's part of the Cinnab- Cinnab- Cinnabites, what they're called. And he's like the head of the oh. Cinnabites, right? right. And um, in the third one, he goes up and he goes to his vicar. And obviously, it's like in the, he goes into this church thing. I'd be like saying some Christ sort of thing, like Christ, you know, it will stop him. And obviously, the vicar's like, oh, we can't do this. And he goes to like the, um, the cross where Jesus has got the, the thorn crown on and he just imitates it. Right. And he just sums up how much of a bastard it is. Yeah. And then he just kills the vicar. Oh, right. And he's just, yeah, he's brilliant. Mm. But he's not really, he's not really shown a lot, but he's probably the best. Yeah, you know? so it's just more like what he does. Yeah. And how he does it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And, it, and it, the, that film, the film is on, is about him, but it's not really, he's not really in it. It's just a shame. I think they made a lot of spin-offs of sort of ha- um, Pinhead films, but I haven't seen them. It's sort of a bit of waste, but yeah, I right. like Pinhead. Okay. Hmm. Yes, obviously there's the the there's the story behind who Pinhead is and that right. as well. We got which films I'm not remembering. No, yeah, yeah, Hellraiser, yeah. yeah, yeah, Hellraiser. Well, I wanted to take this opportunity to quickly go over some uh, comic book villains in films because usually they're done really shit, right? Usually, right? Okay, I mean you can only really name one or two off the top of your head, right? Clearly, the first one you think of is the Joker in the Dark Knight, right? Yeah, who played what what Joker? In Dark Knight. Yeah, what's he called? Ledger. Yeah. Heath Ledger's Joker. He probably is the best. Villain, whatever. Is that what you're He's say? pretty, I'd say second best. I don't think those are first. Anyway, I don't know. carry on. Go I don't on. Know. Maybe go on with your animation. I feel like two people like over 
over exaggerate like how good he was. But once you actually watch it, you go, yeah, he's, he's actually. He's, he's the good. pencil scene. <laughs> yeah. Well. Pencil scene is the best. And scene. and why he's, yeah. why he smiles as well. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. Well, why the scars come from. Yeah. Yeah, because he's always give different story and stuff. Yeah. 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 It's just it, yeah. It's just very, it's very well acted in a way, yeah. Especially because of the actors that, he, that played him. Yeah. You wouldn't expect that sort of thing to come from him, would you? No, I don't really know him. A lot of people always... Well, I just... Not really. I've seen a few things that he's in. Like, um, what's, what's it called? Um, Ten Things I Hate About You. I saw that. He's in that. And he just played, like, some pretty boy um, jock kind of thing. Well, not, not, not that, but he... Is very different from what you'd expect for the Joker. Yeah. Like did, yeah. Character actor. Yeah, yeah. But, and then he was in The Knight's Tale as well. You yeah, know, I never, I've heard of it. I never saw That's it. That's like a comedy, it. I think. Paul Bettany's in it as well. Yeah. Very good. Um, anyways. Yeah, so he's, he's not in anything like crazy. Oh, Brokeback Mountain as well. Yeah, obviously. Like you wouldn't expect that kind of character to pull off something like that. Jake Gunner. Whereas. Yeah, yeah whereas well, well, Jake. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck's sake, you got me confused now. Um, as well as. J- Thing is, Jack Nicholson, the Joker is a character that would fit him. Yeah, you so, thought so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Especially, your, you know, the shining. Yeah, 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 exactly. His character. Exactly. So, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Is like, that's why he's glad you like. That's why he's not, not the only reason, but that's one of the reasons why he's so good. Just because you know. With one of many, like, you don't have to know the actor to, to enjoy him. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's just. For that, at the time, it was a surprise, you know. So I think that's what started it, I think, yeah. more than anything. Um, anyways, I'm not, we're not talking about the actors necessarily, unless they played him really well. More I, characters, I like isn't it? Yeah, I think, but what helps, it does help, obviously the acting helps, but I think the writing does as well. But sometimes they're not really shown, like I say, with Pinhead, where he's a brilliant character, but he's not shown. And I don't know, maybe that works as well. Yeah, as a model. that's true. That's a model. If you, want to, if you want to make something scary, you don't show it. I guess. But um, other than the Joker... Could you could you name any other comic book villain that was actually worth remembering? Maybe Red Skull, because I know you like Red Skull. I like Red Skull. <laughs> yeah. I think he's another one that's not shown in the films, you know, so like brilliantly. Right. I think it could be quite a good, crazy sort of character. Yeah. I quite I like the okay. idea of it sort of he's okay, changing he's history. Sort of like a, in in Captain America, he's just sort of a generic Nazi, isn't he? Really. Yeah. I like. I like and Hugo Weaving is good though, isn't he? Obviously. Yeah, but they don't really show it. You know, they don't really. I don't know. Yeah. And obviously you can't, obviously. Any others? Can you name any others? Because the only other one I can think of is Loki. Um, he's considered very good because fucking helicopters making up. Yeah, it's picking up on the thing. Sorry, okay. Um, so, yeah, Loki, because he's, he's not just a villain, he's he's actually got, like, struggles and stuff, hasn't he? Yeah, I don't, the, know, I don't whole, know why. Whole motivation. This is probably from, like, a childhood... Childhood uh, memory, but I always thought Doctor Octopus was pretty. Scary oh yeah, that's true. As a villain, yeah, he's a good one. Yeah. I haven't seen it for years, so I can comment on it. But yeah, but, I mean, I think Spider Man Two's only. It's only. Like it wouldn't work as well if if it didn't have as great a villain as Doc Ock. Yeah, I think that's why they work. And films work so good. She had both. Yeah, but, I mean, I think I, I think a hero is only as good as a villain. I think that's that's an actual. I think that's what it, superhero sh- movie should be. I think. But anyway, um, yeah, but they, I think. I don't yeah, know what other This is what I'm trying to say, though, is that they focus too much on the hero. I, I think yeah. It doesn't work if it has a shit villain. Anyway, what, what other villains? Well, look, I was thinking that a lot of Marvel films do is that the, the heroes, the villain, the first they first face is always just it's just them, but evil. Yeah. So like Iron Man, he just fights a bigger evil Iron Man, and then you got. Um, Captain America even just faces, faces an evil Captain America, basically. Yeah. And then Hulk just faces an evil Hulk. Fucking Thor just faces an evil Thor. Bloody Doctor Strange just faces an evil Doctor Strange. The list yeah. goes on, you know. It's just Ant Man as well does the same thing. It's just like the villains are shit. Even if Lo- even though Loki is the best one, it's still shit. Right. Although um, in the Netflix shows, they do have some good villains. Kingpin from Daredevil, yeah. he's a great one. That's actually like one of the best. Was he? He wasn't in the film though. Put it. Yeah, he was, but he was. Was he? he was yeah, played I, thought, by, I haven't uh, seen. It. I only saw that once as a kid, and I can't remember. He was. He was. He was black in in, yeah. in the film. Of course he was. Yeah. I can't remember what his name was now. Um, he was a good actor. I think. He it's was. not from Mission Impossible. Not that. Not that. Right. 
I don't know. I haven't seen Mission Impossible. So. Um, Vince something. No. He's in a lot of stuff. I like oh, you mean in the, in the Netflix one? No, in the Daredevil. No? Oh, in the film? Yeah. You mean the film? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry, not the Netflix, mate. Sorry. Hold on, let me... Because when he said Vince, because uh, in the Netflix show, he's played by Vincent D'Onofrio. Oh, right. You know him, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's great. He's amazing. Like, that is actually just like... Yeah, you have to see it, mate. You have to all see right. that. Yeah. Because it is good. But the, the film is all right, actually. Because I saw it like a year ago for the first time, and it was... I thought it was quite decent. Like, I like Colin Farrell. Yeah. Bullseye. Electra's shit, mate. Michael Clark Duncan, that's him. He played, yeah. He played Kingpin in the original. Oh, fair enough. Um, and even even that's quite good, really. But um, And then there's also Kilgrave in Jessica Jones, who's played by David Tennant. That's a great one. Fair enough. He is, he is just... Yeah. I mean, not just because he's David Tennant. I mean, David Tennant's just great anyway, but... Yeah. Taking over the asylum. Huh? Taking over the asylum. Taking over the asylum? Yeah. Yeah. David Tennant. Ken Snow. 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 You used to call him Ken Snow as a kid. It's a good TV series. Anyway, I have no on. idea what you're on about. But David Tennant, it was like one of his first things. What's it called? Taking over the asylum. Oh, really? Okay, never run it. Really good. Okay. I'll give it a go. <laughs> um, what was my point? Well, I mean, it's just... A, for me, personally, the films are just shit if the villains are boring. Like, I don't care about the heroes half the time. Usually the villains are better anyway. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, who, cares, who gives a fuck about He-Man? It's all about Skeletor. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Who gives a fuck about Luke Skywalker, personally? Yeah, but they're Rangers actually... They're, dressed. They're, they're dressed up as villains. Well, I think they're not. With people like Norman Bates. It's fucking creepy. He's got his mm. na- he's got his mum, right? Still dressed up, sitting in the dark. But she's dead, and it's just the fucking bones. Right. I just thought that's horrible. I think I've seen it. You haven't seen Psycho? No. Call yourself a filmmaker. I don't. The first, you do. <laughs> the ma- <laughs> yeah, I'm not, even, I'm not even discussing it. People know how good it is. If you haven't seen it and you don't understand Norman Bates, just watch it. If you... If you have, you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever you've heard of Bates Motel? Yeah. Yeah, I have saw the first episode. You've seen it. Yeah, I saw the first you one. Like it, no. Okay. Because it's still going right now. No, no. Yeah, it just goes on. Apparently, it's, on. apparently it's good. But... It probably is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Fair enough. Yeah. Um. Freddie from um, the Take. I think he's a bit of a bastard as well. The Take. Yeah, the, t- the Sky TV series with Tom Hardy. Okay. Oh, play, right, right. He right. plays Freddy. He said that, yeah. And um, he's just out of bass. Everyone hates him. Mm. And he doesn't need to give a shit. He thinks he's like the Flash. Yeah. You know, but he is and everyone hates him. Yeah. You know, his he's, um, brother's wife hates him. and you got to see it because it's, I think it's a four part or five part. It's just amazing. Right. I think he's a real, mate, you know, not a movie villain, more a TV villain. And there's a lot of him, and he's and he's shown, and obviously Tom Hardy, brilliant character actor, so he can, he shows him really well. Right. But uh, yeah, 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 brilliant. He's good. I remember, to, stuck uh, someone's head for a TV. So I remember. In real life. No, like Freddie in the, in <laughs> the TV oh, okay. series. But um, yeah. We're okay, but like, I was thinking, is it is he good? Oh yeah, I guess yeah. It's, it's a combination. It's the acting. It's what it's the actions, like the writing. Because you what almost do. yeah, yeah. But it, I don't think it's the acting or the directing. Or I think sometimes it is the not the act. I mean, it is the acting, not the script or the directing. Yeah, I think yeah. it's more the acting. Okay. And it is yeah, how they make it themselves. Yeah, they got to sell that they're evil. And they're... Yeah. 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 It was not even yeah. 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 The acting does it the best. Yeah. Um. I think the mo- the mother in. Um, Carrie as well. Yeah. Is she's pretty fucking horrible. Just you know, what she, you know, not telling her kid about stuff and that. And um, just sort of. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've only seen the remake of Carrie with Chloe Moretz in it. Yeah. Um, Julianne Moore played her mum. I watched that. It's just I'd say identical to the, the Brian De Palma one. Right. If that's good or bad, I don't know. But I don't think the mother yeah. was as good as the mother in the in. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about Julianne Moore doing any greater. Yeah, um, I don't really, I couldn't say, I haven't seen the original. So I have to stand up because i got a numb arse. Nice. I'm sitting down watching. I think, shit. and obviously, um, 
from that as well. I think I can. I also, the mum from Miss Goodnight, Mister Tom. All right. I think she's she's also very fucking scary. You don't overly scare to see her because right. sometimes she she she'd be so nice to to a kid, mm. and then suddenly she could just turn and be absolutely horrible. It used to scare me as a kid. Yeah. You think someone some you know could do that? So it can be like that. Yeah. We used to have a form teacher who used to do that. He used to be like really nice and suddenly she just like turn. It'd be really horrible. But um Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Do you? Do we know what to say really? Yeah. Um I'm trying to think of like, what would be what would be your favourite? Do you have a favourite or is do you say Freddie's your favourite? No, I don't I don't really have any favourite. I just I think it's just a stream. I could if I actually sat down and, and writ a list, I probably could, but I think sometimes it's just like a stream of consciousness where, you know, it's whatever whatever scares you. I don't think, like I said, I don't think there is an actual perfect, you know, perfect okay. villain. Here's what I'm going to ask you, John. Um, if you, it, well, yeah, I'm going to ask you, Ryan, to think of pure evil. What's the, what, what would, like, who would come to your mind if you thought of pure, pure evil? Other than, like, Hitler or someone. But like a, a fictional person, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Because, I don't know, I, I think of Darth Vader. I think that's the first person I think of. Yeah, but then for me, though, that is a villain. He's been written to be a villain. It's not like... Yeah, but they're all written to be villains. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. But, like, like just, just, just who, who makes you think of it? Like, when you think of villain, what, what comes to your mind? That's what I'm trying to say. Hold on. Uh, just what I say in the podcast. Yeah, just read the last one. But, um, Wait, where are we talking? Where is this? What's he on about? Don't Ben's end, apparently. Ben's end, fuck. We need to stay in here then. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, know. Well, I'm just, we've just been informed that there might be a gunman about. I'll cut this out if uh, if it's not true. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't this, know. This might be our Some final. Some posted on the... This um... might be our final one. <laughs> 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 this is our will. Oh my god. Good thing we're talking about villains. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> Guys, if you're listening to this, we're dead. <laughs> I hope he comes fast because then we could ask him what he thinks of the limits. How would we upload this? <laughs> I'm going to have to write down some. I'm going to text my dad and tell him to find the laptop and the recording. <laughs> Just, I don't even know. Oh, God, I'm going to have to leave yeah, instructions yeah. on how to export it. And this is on that Jeez. Facebook um, handle community thing. Jeez, man. A lot of police. <laughs> Where is it, Bell Swain? Okay. Where is that? Oh, yeah. Okay. That'd be alright. I have no idea. <laughs> um, so, Dad, if you're listening, <laughs> what you do what <laughs> is. Um, you go to file um, on Audacity. You go to file. Um, hold on, I can do it right now. Uh, export audio, and then just media. I think um, let it do its thing. Yeah, Darth Vader. I like. <laughs> I think as as well the Daleks as well. I think that's also. Yeah. I think saying about oh they've, they've written to be villains, but I think as the close com- um, how close they are to being something real, like the Nazis right. and how the Daleks they are, nation they are based, based on, the yeah. Daleks yeah. on the Nazis. And obviously, you know, yeah, I yeah, think that's yeah. quite clever as well. I think that adds something to the, the, the idea of how they can be relatable. Yeah. And that's relatable well, in a different way. Darth Vader's minions are called stormtroopers, which is what Nazis yeah, exactly. are called, basically. Yeah. Which is weird. What they called? They, um, just, just spat- State just, Trooper. They're just, they're just Starpo. Yeah. They're called stormtroopers, aren't they? That's what it was. Um, Gestapo. I don't know how to pronounce it. Fuck it. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, I think of Darth Vader, I think of the Daleks, and I think of Joker. But I don't I don't know why Darth Vader, because he's not really, he's not really pure evil, is he? He's, he's, he's actually, um, he's just gone down the wrong path, you know? Whereas Joker and Daleks, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. But they are pure evil. Anyways. Um... I'll tell you the worst villain in the world is Miss Trunchbull from Matilda. Yeah. <laughs> She's really fast. No, um, maybe not. I think it would be uh, Gargamel from Smurfs. Actually, <laughs> what? the Hitcher. Hitcher? 
Yeah, get out. Pass it what, uh, Will Smith? At the top. Oh, there. Yeah, Will Smith, no? No. 1986 film. Yeah, Will Smith. And it's got, um... Rit Hoot... It's Hoot, a tune, Rit, Rit, What's that? I can't even say his name. Rutger Hauer? Yeah. And he's in Blade Runner, obviously. He's one of the things. Oh, obviously, yeah. And he is just an utter bastard. Obviously, a bloke stops. He hitchhikes. And he obviously kills the person who fucking stops for him. Mm. And obviously one kid got away and obviously he, he's got a girlfriend and that and they, he, he comes and terrorises them. And he's quite a bastard. Because it's not like, oh yeah, I actually want to do this. He has this really sort of weird look about him. And you only sort of see him now and again. Mm. Uh, yeah. Can't think of it. But like I say, it's just like a sh- stream of consciousness. Right. It's, I don't think there is a, like, a perfect villain or anything. Yeah. I think it's just, yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm, perfect villain, actually. I'm trying to think. Nah, I suppose there isn't one, is there? I don't know. This is hard. I bet, like, as soon as we stop recording, I'm going to think of someone. Yeah. Again, yeah. I mean, you want to mention the Wicked Witch, didn't you? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just think that's quite an, like the image Iconic, as well. Yeah, yeah. With the nose and, you know, the way she sort of punches over. Yeah. Stereotypical quite, witch, yeah. Really, but... Yeah, quite a stereotypical villain as well. Yeah. And also only comes in when something when everyone's happy as well, yeah, to yeah. kill them, like, yeah, to I'm dampen thinking, the parade, yeah. which is quite a... <laughs> it's classic, classic. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying. Freddy Krueger. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, because again, he's he's another bastard that, he, do, he doesn't go, oh, I'm going to kill you. He just, he's he has a smile him. Yeah. about him. It's like, oh my God. Yeah. And he obviously, yeah, in your Indian dream, the only place you're safe is in, in your sleep, and then becomes <laughs> Freddy comes fucking in. Krueger, yeah. yeah. Which is weird. Yeah, that's, that's good, yeah. Very good. That's a good example. Cause, uh, yeah, a good example of just any sort of like evil entity in general. Yeah. Is that it's something that either plays on irras- rational fears or irrational fears. Something that's like in Doctor Who, where they've got like uh, statues that move and when you're not looking and and um, shadows and. Um, I love sweeping angels. Yeah, that's another good that's one. What I thinking of. Like, are you alone when you're when, when you're talking to yourself alone? Are you actually alone? Are you talking to somebody, sort of thing? Yeah. Shit like that. Like, yeah. Oh, there was one else I was thinking of. I can't remember who it was. Um. But anyways, yeah, like, yeah, they play on just fears, or, or, or actually something that. Something you know that um, challenges what's safe, like you say with, dreams and. Yeah. I can't think of anything else, but clowns as well. Yeah, I suppose. obviously the new it film was coming out. Yeah, but that's a, that's another thing why I like Stephen King as a. This is going away from um, villains. Yeah, villains, but um, he plays on fears anyway. We did that. In, we did that. In, yeah. But, um, he likes to fucking shit. Yeah. He likes to make a shit ourselves. Who doesn't? Well, so I mentioned um, Hannibal Lecter, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. The Hannibal. Anyways, um, I just feel like I'm forgetting someone. I feel like I'm the missing. penguin. What in Batman Returns? No, the penguin in Wallace and Gromit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, that is the best one. <laughs> yeah, but literally. That, that is literally the best villain. That is. That, I think you've nailed. You're it. not even on. He's not even on the list. He is just. He's he's, he's the, the list. Yeah. 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 What what was he in? Close shave. Um. No, he was um. Wrong trousers. Oh yeah, because he was just yeah, yeah, the electronic trousers. Yeah. Do you know what? Every Nicky villain, should, every villain should be based on that. I'm not even joking. Yeah, he is the pro- yeah. perfect role model, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we cracked it. Cracked it. it, cracked it. But um, I would say, if you want to see a good collection of villains, you watch Lego Batman movie. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say about it. Or Freddy vs Jason. Depends what you want to watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. We said that about everyone there. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yeah. That's my little song. Testing song. Yeah, is it? Yeah. You made it out yourself? Yeah. Fucking good, mate. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> mm. Okay, so this is already part of the episode, isn't it, actually? So. Yeah, so we're like halfway for an episode. <laughs> so we're uh, making this like uh, months later. Yeah, after making the other episode. Yeah. But we're halfway through it, so. Yeah. So. Well, you are, we're not. Yeah, so you're already, you, you guys at home are probably already halfway through this episode, but we're starting uh, ages yeah. after we've... Anyways, 
point is, um, we want to talk about a few upcoming releases. Yeah, the um, Friday the 13th releases, I guess. Because a lot of the films come out for oh, the 13th, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, The Ritual. The Ritual? The Jigsaw come out then as well. Jigsaw? I don't know. I don't think it's even out yet, is it? Is it? I don't know. Actually, it might, be out, it might be out like Monday or something. Yeah, Monday could 30th. be. Monday the 30th. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, anyway, yeah, sorry. That's today, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. Right, yeah, so, so Ritual. So, the Ritual, Jigsaw, The Snowman. Yeah, which, I don't, I don't know if you count as a horror film. But it's, no, but I mean, it's because a it came out around this yeah. time. So. Right. Yeah. yeah, What was the other one that we were going to Cult of Chucky. Cult of Chucky. Which was a DVD release. Yeah. Okay, so, sure. um, I just want to talk about Snowman quickly. Yeah, go for it, yeah. Because I know you love it, don't you? Or you I'm in two minds it. about it, I want to see it again. Okay. But go on. Because I didn't really enjoy it. Yeah. Personally, I don't know what it was about it. It was just like, it was just really strange. And none of it really, I mean, it made sense. It just, it just didn't really feel like. It's it, an easy way out. Yeah. It didn't end. really feel like anything happened. Yeah. And none of it mattered. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was just, it was just a, a popcorn film at the end of the day, it felt like, to be honest. Yeah. But then all these films, right, all horror films. Yeah. Or like these sequel horror films, are, are, are usually about this one character. Mm. And the films are crap. It's this one character that we like to see. Yeah. Like sort of Chucky. Right. Or, yeah. you know, I, you or, know, lo- there's loads. Yeah, or for Michael. Snowman it was, yeah. The Snowman Killer I thought was amazing. Oh. Where you had this, sno- this snowman. Yeah. Facing the house. Yeah. And when it, when he was striking with Chuck Snowballs. Yeah. I thought it was amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's a good idea, yeah. But I, that, didn't, I didn't like who it turned out to be. No. Nah. Yeah. I thought, that, yeah, the end of the film was shy. No spoilers, I guess, but. I guess not. Because it's still worth watching it. I thought it was brilliant and, and yeah. Arspin is good. Arspin. Yeah. <laughs> That's rude. I can't say that. <laughs> no, he's got Michael. He probably listens Arspin. to this, you know. Probably. Michael from Arspin. But I love him. He's great. He's good. Yeah. He's, you know, no, he's yeah. up there. He's amazing. Know. Yes. You know, Trespass Against Us, but that'd be a different podcast. Yes. I um, haven't seen it. Then, yeah. yeah. Okay. Another film we haven't seen, good tile on that is, yeah. is um, Cole or Chucky. Yeah. You'll see it. Yeah. It only come, out, uh, come straight out on DVD, which is just a shame. Yeah, well, it's because it's shit. Yeah, but this is this is different. I don't want to. I'm not going to spoil it. But um, the whole film is very white, and oh. it's very sort of institutional, and it's different to sort of dark house horror. Especially, you know, the one before it. What was it called? Curse of Chucky. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was very yeah as a sort of a, dark. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Sounds interesting. Yeah, and it was yeah, and there's quite a few Chucky's in it, and quite. A lot of murders, quite gruesome actually. Quite a lot of blood. What do you mean, more than one joke? Well, yeah, you've got to see it, yeah. Shit. You've got to see it now, but um, I I enjoyed it very, and it's a very different style. Like I said, it's not a sort of slasher, dark house. It's not not typical, no. No, I I didn't thought it was. It's quite sort of Swedish noir thriller, I thought. Yeah. That sounds good. But um, yeah, that's what I'm going to say about it. But um, (laughs) does he get on with that? But it's actually, come to think of it, it's a really good end. It's probably the best end of out of all these films because it actually leads on and it's got quite exciting history, you know, quite exciting future. So, yeah. yes. all right, worth seeing. Oh, cool. Sounds good. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Actually, yeah, I really want to get a good guy doll. I think it's worth it. Yeah, you can get yeah. quite cheap as well, which is, I suppose, not surprising. Is it? Well, how much is it? I've never seen for ones for like sort of 20, 30 quid. Right, okay, I'm definitely getting one. Yeah. I'm getting one. I just don't, don't think I can get one. I just don't think I can pull myself to get it. Oh, imagine getting someone a good guy doll for you Christmas. You know, the, the curse, though, to bring it alive. Because I can never, like, remember it. No, it's, it's an enchantment. You just have to do, uh, like, a... What is it? A voodoo, voodoo dance. dance. Voodoo dance, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but lightning's got a strike as well. So yeah. It's got to be during a and storm, got to be a, I guess. Ma- you know, a mass murderer. You don't have to be, do you? Well, he, he was. Yeah, I don't think that's a requirement. <laughs> Sure. Anyways, you never know. Okay, so what's next? Um, the other one was ritual. Yeah, I saw, I like this. It's a good. It's it's a good. It's very stereotypical, and it's like the Wrong Turn or Texas Chainsaw Massacre, any of them, or like House of Wax or something. But it's it's British, in the sense of British actors, and it's really funny. It's got like these really funny British people moments right. that only sort of British people do. Oh right, yeah. So I, I loved it for that. It's quite good. It's yeah. very stereotypical. Is it? Especially the end. Yeah. Especially from the, from the end of Chucky, which is very good and, and can make go on to make loads of good films. Right. This end is just completely shit. Mm. Which is a shame. And it's good yeah, actors in sucks. it. Yeah, I can't remember any of the actors in it. Um, Timothy Spall's 
Um, is he? Sun oh. is in it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but it's a very good car. You know the faces. But I, I yeah. don't actually know any of the films they're in, yeah, which I is weird. The, the lead, I think, he's he was one of the Andes, wasn't he? Yeah, in yeah, Fuzz, yeah. Hot Hamson, yeah. Yeah, I remember his face. So I don't know who he is. And the monster's <laughs> rubbish as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for spoiling it. I didn't but, know it was a monster. But, well, no, or right, not the mon- not a monster, but a the thing it's about the, the ritual. Yeah. yeah, it's the reason why it's called the ritual. It's because there's a monster in it. It's not, no, Fuck not, you, well, well, not you know, it. the same thing as a monster. I'm not watching it, it's boring, it for me. But yeah, I enjoyed it, but I don't know if everyone else would. Okay. That sounds like a good British horror film, yeah. because there isn't a lot of good British horror films. No, nah. and I thought like, yeah, that's what I come into expecting a good British horror film. Yeah. And it's really, it's really quite um, sad, and it's like, kind of like Stand By Me for Grown Ups, if you think about the start. Right. And it's quite clever. Yeah. But then you go all through that, and then you get the end, and that's the end Are you shame. basically saying it's it, chapter two? No. Oh, okay. No, it is very similar <laughs> to Stand By Me. <laughs> okay, cool. Right, the final thing we want to talk about yeah. was why we don't want to see Jigsaw. Yes. Okay. Why don't you want to see Jigsaw? I don't know, you, you brought oh, it up. Brought up. <laughs> um, it's just going to be shit. I've never it? seen Saw, anyways. Have you not? I would like to see the first few, because apparently those are good, aren't they? Yeah. Well, the premise is this, is people find themselves in a room, and they've got to find their way out of the room. Mm. We've got a series of games, right? Everyone yeah. knows that. Yeah. But, um... And there's a little puppet, man. And obviously this, like, a, like the story... Before I saw it, the story I got was these students, they didn't have enough money to make a big horror film, or just a film in general, mm. so they could only rent one room. Right, yeah. So they made this film. Yeah. But they had, there's so many other locations in, in Saw yeah. that it's just such a letdown, I think. And that it's gone so far. The second one is, is like, completely different to... The model of the first one yes. it's like it's pointless seeing it yeah from anyone from the first but now they're, they're making a spin-off of the, the character jigsaw mm-hmm. obviously i haven't seen it so i don't know because obviously the bloke died didn't he yeah the bloke who did it yeah so who's I, jigsaw I, I know that because i remember i started watching like number eight or something yeah, yeah. there's loads yeah but there was one where Six. it started with mm-hmm. them doing an autopsy on jigsaw yeah i remember that. i remember watching that and that's the only part of some i've ever seen yeah it's <laughs> No, I only got part. I don't even think I've seen the third one. I've seen the first two. But yeah, that's why we don't see it. Because <laughs> it looks shit. <laughs> what a great topic of conversation yeah, that was. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just, it's, why make, why, when something, like, why rip the piss out of a film that sounds like a really good premise is? Oh my fucking God. I just remembered one of the yeah. trailers where it, um, you know, the puppet that comes through and is. Like, yeah, for, I hate that bit. Yeah, and, he's, and the guy's like. No, that's not creepy at all. What's oh, that about? It's not fucking hor- fucking comedy, is it? No, but it's, it's not even funny. No, it's not funny. It's just that he does it for comedic values, and it's not even funny. You know, it's just like, what's the point? I actually want to put the clip of that in this podcast. I think just you should. to show how shit that is. I think everyone's seen it because it's it's been very pu- it's been publicised so I don't much give as well. A fuck. This is a horror podcast episode. I'm yeah. going to scare the shit out of people by sharing a reshaped clip. So, yeah, jigsaw. I also I saw a few a few other horror films. Um, Halloween, f- uh, not Halloween. Sorry, this, it was for Halloween, but um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Three. Right, right. I I bought it because it's cheap. Right. Yes. Uh, I read up about it. There's two editions, like an um, an unedited version and an edited version, and everyone was like, "Oh, it's really gruesome." It's right. like no blood in it at all. Yep. And it's like really let down, but it's quite a good film. Yes. Well, you know what they say: the imagination is. It's more scary than the real thing. That's what I was trying Winston to say. Vincent Price said that. Yeah, I think so. But, um, he, had, he had that big pause in between as well. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, anyway. <coughs> I think that's it. We've, we've almost yeah. reached 10 minutes then on this little section. Yeah, anything else? Any new ones? Um. I started to see the, um, the 1990 yeah, as well. That'd be a separate podcast. Yeah. Mm. My phone's gone missing. Um. Um, that's it really, isn't that's it? it yeah. yeah. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Might as well just do the outro again. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thank you. We love you. He does. I don't. I don't either. <laughs> nah, you're right. Um, bye. See you later. Don't let the bed bugs bite. You were creepy before. <laughs> Just give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs>
Okay, that'll do. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I'm just editing the podcast right now, and um, Jordan's asked me to add something in, uh, which he forgot to mention, and I don't really know what to do with it. It's it's a bit of the script of uh, to Cult of Chucky, which I haven't seen, so he's kind of spoiling it for me, as well, which is it's not very nice. Um, but I'm I'm just going to read it because I don't really know what else I would do with it. So here goes. <laughs> um, so I don't know who Angela is. So I'm just going to do like. I'm just going to kind of do this kind of voice for Angela. Uh, <laughs> and then Chucky, I know what Chucky sounds like. He's like, eh, hey, I'm Chucky. <laughs> kind of like that. So, all right. So, Angela says, Last door on the right, you can see me. Yeah, I can see you. Don't be afraid. What? I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> you fucking with me? No, I'm not. Tell you the truth. I'm happy to have the company, even if you aren't real. Okay, let me explain something to you. I'm a vintage mass-marketed children's toy from the 80s, standing right in front of you, holding a very sharp scalpel. Yeah, my voice acting's not great, so I was happy. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm a schizo... <coughs> well, my voice is changing as well. I'm a schizophrenic. I see things. Aren't you the crazy bitch I talked to last night on the phone? Sometimes I hear things, too. Okay, lady, you know what? You're next. I'm gonna be right back. I have no idea why Jordan asked me to add that in, but there you go, Jordan. You happy now? <sighs> so I just had a little bit of a thought about what I've just uh, recorded, and I don't really get it. <laughs> Maybe it's just easier to talk about it this way because Jordan's not here uh, to, to argue with me. <laughs> but um it just doesn't really work without context does it it's probably a funny scene or or just a really good scene but it's no good if it's just reading it from the script you know so i don't really know. <laughs> i don't really know i'm sorry jordan but uh i'm going to add it in anyways because you wanted me to um but now you're going to suffer for it you know because it's just very random. I'll leave it at that, I think. <laughs> um, five star rating. Try not to slip on your way out. <laughs> Don't know. Just shut up. Um, again, bye. If you listen to this, we're dead. <laughs> I'm cutting out.